We were at Jumpstarter, an event held in Hong Kong where entrepreneurs and startup companies gathered to discuss their businesses and share their experiences. There, we met Emma Yang, the founder of her own app, Timeless. We sat down and asked her how she began her journey in coding and app building. I actually started coding when I was really young. I was around six years old when my dad uh, showed show me how to use Scratch. It's a you know a kids program for learning how to uh, build you know little games and tools um, that I tried out, and it's all block by block. And I kind of tried it out, you know, making little games, and I kind of started as a hobby. And later on, I kind of progressed through you know making little websites, and then I learned how to uh, create apps when I was around you know 11 years old. Emma tells us that Timeless was inspired by her grandmother, who had Alzheimer's disease. She has a very close relationship with her grandmother and wanted to give back to her by helping her remember their experiences together. So Timeless is an app that's caregiver assisted and that the patient can use with their family and friends to kind of connect with their friends and look at photos. The main part is that there's a facial recognition component to it. So one of the main functions is updates where you, the family and friend can um, take a picture and send it to the patient and then the people in those photos will actually be tagged with say, this is Emma, your granddaughter. And so it, uh, when the patient's going through, they can actually see who that is. And then the most, most unique one is actually identify where you can use the phone's camera to take a picture of someone if that's in real life or it's in a photo, like a physical photo you have and it'll actually tell you who that is. More and more apps are popping up with more and more younger app developers. Does Emma have any advice for teenagers who are getting into coding or app making? Um, I think that you know there's so many resources out there to learn how to code, you know, learning how to create apps or websites and you know really look out there. Um, you know, ask your teachers. I think that there are really a lot of good resources online if you're you kind of starting out with creating apps. So, you know, I think it's really fun and you know people should, you know, try and just, you know, try it out.